You're listening to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. Welcome to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. And now your host, Melissa Jakubovic. Hey, 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 everybody. Today we're talking about how I boost my confidence before a sales call. Sales calls can seem really scary, even for experienced business owners. So here's how you can boost your confidence and close the deal without breaking a sweat. And I know this is scary for some of you, but that's okay. We're going to go through it. The first thing is practice. Practice, 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 practice. This is the easiest step to take. You can call up a friend and ask them if you can practice your pitch. You can call up a business mentor or a business business friend, um, somebody that you've met online that you've formed a relationship with, and just practice your sales call because it really does take practice. And if you don't practice, you're going to be messing up your words, you're going to be caught off guard, and you won't appear to be the authority and sitting in that authority position, which is what you need in order to close the deal. The second thing is to use positive self-talk. So put a sticky note above your monitor that says, I'm awesome. Or tell yourself that these clients are begging to work with you. Pump yourself up. Do whatever you need to do, whatever it takes. And remember that they need you more than you need them. This is true. No matter what you do, no matter what service you offer, you are offering something that you know will help them move forward in their life or in their business or in their finances or in their health or in some other way. What you provide gives them a boost and they need that boost. That's why they're on the sales call with you. So just remember that they really need you more than you need them. And if you come into that sales call thinking, I don't have any money and I have to close this and if I don't close this, my life's gonna end or my bills are gonna pile up or I'm gonna lose my house or or this, 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 or this, then you are coming to the sales call with a need. And you're going to have that urgency, that icky urgency that's going to rub them the wrong way. People can feel that energy. So don't come to the sales call with all of those negative thoughts. Come with positive self-talk and remember that they need you more than you need them. There are plenty of fish in the sea to get on your sales calls. You don't need this one particular call to close. It'd be nice, but you don't need it. The next thing is to step into alpha mode. You lead the conversation. You take charge. You position yourself as the leader. And it is important to do that from the get-go. Even before the sales call, you send your calendar link to them. Don't let them send their calendar link to you. Very, very important to step into that alpha mode from the very beginning. The next thing, and I do this, is to stand in a powerful position before hopping on that call. So stand up tall, maybe open your arms up like you're in victory, putting your arms up overhead, or or get really grounded and stand in a warrior two pose from yoga where your front foot um, is in front of you and you've bent your knee at a 90 degree angle and that back leg is straight and really grounded into the into the floor or the mat or wherever you happen to be and then open your arms out to the side and gaze over your middle fingertip and really feel grounded like you're a warrior and you own this space and nothing can push you aside nothing can make you waver, you are a warrior and stand in that grounded warrior pose or that powerful position where you can stand up straight and cross your arms like you mean business. So pick a pose that works for you, that resonates with you and stand in that pose for a few minutes just before your call. Another thing you can do is you can listen to music that pumps you up. If it's dance music, then dance in your room right before so that you can release some energy. Just go nuts in the privacy of your own space and just have a great time. You're going to start laughing. You're going to start feeling alive. And this is great energy to bring to a sales call. Also, you want to dress to impress. So even if you're not on a video call, looking great makes you feel great. So put on your favorite I kick ass outfit or your lucky necklace or some wild makeup or get your hair done all nice uh, right before this call, whatever it takes to make you feel good. You want to feel good before you get on the call, so do it. Also, I want you to think about reframing your mistakes if you're on a call. So even if your nerves get the best of you and you stumble a bit, the client never has to know. Just like when you're on stage in the theater, 
The audience doesn't know when you mess up. All you have to do is reframe the mistake. So cover up any minor minor issues by blaming it all on your excitement. I'm just so excited for this call. So sorry, I got my words ahead of me. Whatever it is, show that excitement and that will come through on the call. And the last thing is to smile, even if they can't see you, even if you're just on the phone. People can hear a smile in your voice and smiling tells your brain that you're happy and that you're confident and that you're at ease. And all of this comes through on the call. That happy, confident ease makes them feel happy and confident and at peace, at ease. You want the person on the other end of the call to feel at ease. You don't want them to feel nervous, like they're making the wrong decision. You want them to feel happy, not unhappy and content. You want them to feel comfortable and confident that you're the one to take them to the next level. So bring all of that to your call and you will see that your sales calls are doing better. You're closing more calls. You're getting through to your audience a whole lot better. So try that out and let me know how it goes and I will talk to you soon. See you next time. If you loved this episode, head over to iTunes to subscribe and leave us a review so we can reach more people and share our content with those that can benefit most. And before you go, I want to invite you to join my Social Marketing Academy, where you can master the skills you need to manage and scale your own business or your clients' businesses. This membership will give you all the tools you need to be successful online and teach you how to engage properly with your ideal audience. New courses are constantly being added to the Academy, and you can Work through them at your own pace. Check it out now at socialmarketingacademy.org. Thanks for listening to the Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast at www.marketingtipswithmelissa.com.